Praise the Lord this beautiful morning from wherever you're watching us. I do hope that you're well. The Lord has kept you. And uh, yes, His grace and mercy has been sufficient, of course, and uh, at such a time as this. So welcome very much to today's devotion. And um, we have been focusing on the theme of the uh, this week is Jesus Christ, our, our living hope. And we do know that uh we have no any other hope and it's only jesus christ who who is our hope and during this particular particular season that we have found ourselves in and our world is in and sometimes it's been shaky to most of us so um to help us to uh go through this we're gonna i'm gonna be sharing a devotional thought today that's going to to be the focus um in alignment with uh with the theme of this, this week, Mark chapter 11, verse 23 to 24. Yes, this is uh, what, uh, this is what it says. Truly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be taken up and be thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says will come to pass, it will be done. Wow. Verse 24. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Whatever you ask in prayer, yeah, this is so sweet. Believe that you have received it and it will be yours. That is from English Standard Version. So, today, we're talking about hope in doubt. And I do believe as most people are in this during this season is we have found ourselves in so many doubts in this kind of season honestly to be honest even me myself i've doubted god i've not doubted whether he's 
is he even concerned about what is happening and the affairs in which that uh, we are in and uh, to most of us we feel like whatever we had depended on maybe it's businesses or ideas and plans and strategies that we had put in place for this year for us to sail through successfully kind of they've been uh, like distorted they have been compromised and and it's it's very easy to feel like the ground has been shaken and perhaps even feeling like you are in the mid air you do not have a solid ground on which you are standing and uh, that translates even to the areas of our spirituality because now there is no church as usual and you may not be in a position where you are able to enjoy the fellowship that we have had so that encouragement and the enthusiasm that comes from having you know Sunday devotion is not there and that might lead to even spiritual laxity if you may not be very careful so that being the case therefore then where lies the hope and that's why we are talking about hope in doubt because most of us whatever is characterizing us during this season is utter doubt utter doubt on the provision of god utter doubt on protection of god utter doubt in all things but looking at scripture today verse 24 of mark chapter 11 says that therefore i tell you whatever you ask in prayer believe that you have received it and therefore prayer is the only prayer place where we can only find solace and we are praying to god and today we're going to be praying to god please god reinvigorate our hope in you our confidence our trust in you that as we focus on 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 Christ being our living hope you're not just speaking about a theoretical reality you're speaking about the practicality because that faith that faith and that hope that we are talking about here will really energize us to move into action not to feel paralyzed not to feel victims but to feel that indeed we are victors so that is what we are talking about this wonderful morning amen so we're going to pray to the lord god please give us a reason to hope again so let's go before the lord in prayer in regard to this so god and father this wonderful morning we give you thanks and praise for the gift of life for the gift of health for the gift of mercy oh god that my father god regardless of our sinfulness as human beings god you are completely and utterly merciful to us oh god my father waking us today morning oh god my father it's just but your mercy it's just but your grace and your love to us oh god your children that god you love so much oh god we give you thanks and praise oh god thank you for the gift of salvation thank you for the gift of peace yes my father sometimes in the midst of hecticness and the busyness of life god my father you allow us my father to enjoy your peace and even those of us who are not my father god experiencing that peace and joy oh god father you are the only one who who can provide and so this morning as we focus god my lord on hope oh god my father during doubting seasons and my father even asking ourselves whether god you actually care god do even my father god mind in this situation in which we are when my father we find ourselves sick my father during this season our business is crumbling our professions my father god crumbling sometimes even my father being laid off because of what is happening my father god economically jesus we find ourselves doubting we found ourselves my father questioning your ability to provide questioning your character oh god my father questioning oh god whether god you ever ever cared about us and so god my father in that regard we come with humble hearts oh god praying king of all the glory please forgive us oh god forgive our doubts oh god forgive our unbelief yes we find my father ourselves like the disciples when oh god my father they were in the boat and the storms came and my father god it just ravaged the boat and they 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 were there in doubt and they thought they could die and my father god we have doubted you during this stormy season we have doubted you we have doubted you jesus we have doubted you oh god but this wonderful morning in hope my father god of your word father lord jesus we are coming in prayer god believing that whatever god we ask oh jesus christ it shall be done 
oh God, my Father, you say that, Lord, indeed, we, we ask and in faith we tell and we pray to God that and we tell, we tell the mountain to move. It shall move, oh God, my Father. Therefore, Lord Jesus, whatever is our mountain this morning, God, in prayer, we are asking Jesus Christ that it shall move, oh God. Whatever the barrier, whatever the mountain, God, is, is it that God, we are facing Jesus Christ. We are commanding it to, to move, oh God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, King of all the glory. Lord, reinvigorate our hearts once again. Our minds, King of all the glory. Lord, God, set us, God, above, higher. Where, God, my Father, we can believe once again, Jesus Christ. We can hope there is a better tomorrow once again. We can hope that, God, our businesses are going, my Father, to rise up once again. We can believe that, God, our struggling businesses, my Father, are going, my Father, to expand. We can believe that, God, you're going to provide for us. You're going, my Father, to grant us peace, my Father, serenity of heart and mind, Jesus, confidence, oh God, God in you. Utter, my Father, Lord God, trust and absolute trust in you, Jesus, to the glory and to the honor of your name. God, King of all the glory, we have laid back in our trust and in our faith. Oh Lord, please forgive us, oh God, my Father. Where God, we have, my Father, God uh, 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 let down, my Father, the plow and looked back, oh God, my Father, for forgive us. We are your children, Lord God, that you have, my Father, purchased with such a precious price, oh God, my Father, forgive us, oh God. So we pray that God, my Father, based on this word, Father, Lord, let, there, let hope arise. Let hope arise in our homes. Let hope arise in our children. Let hope arise in our young people. Let hope arise in our leaders, oh God. Let hope arise in our religious leaders, our pastors and bishops, whoever God is in any position of influence, God, let hope arise, oh God. Let hope arise in our organizations, in institutions, oh God. Let hope arise in this country to the glory and to the honor of your name. Because God, you are the only one who gives us hope. We thank you because we are not just trusting for better things to come, but we are trusting, my Father, to see greater things happening in our lives. My Father, breakthrough, my Father, happening in our lives to the glory and to the honor of your name. This is our humble prayer, O oh Lord, believing that indeed it is done. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we prayed and believed. Amen. Thank you very much for being part of this devotion this morning. May the Lord bless you wherever you are. Indeed, we say, let hope arise. Thank you. When we call you, you will answer. Yes, Okay.